As we swam over the wreck, I was amazed at how many artifacts covered the site. Broken timbers from the ship, shattered planks, ceramic bowls and pots once filled with provisions, weapons. In terms of the number and variety of artifacts, it's one of the richest underwater archaeological sites yet excavated in Asia. It's also one of only four Asian vessels of that period to be found. A rare and significant find, above and beyond its direct association with one of the greatest seaborne invasions in history. Jim and Mike make their way over to a portion of the site where artifacts have been discovered that put to rest one of the controversies surrounding the Suwanaga Scrolls. There I was, hovering over examples of this unique, technologically advanced and deadly weapon from over 700 years ago. The Tets How ushered in a new deadly era in the history of warfare and the age of firearms. Some scholars have debated whether the exploding Tets How were used during the battle, or if they were later painted on to the Suanaga scrolls, a postscript added to embellish the tale. But here in Takashima is tangible proof that explosive projectiles had a role in battle as early as the 13th century. The ongoing work of Kosuwa will continue to challenge long-held beliefs and will continue to add new factual information.